When I was in Dharamshala, the um, home of the government of Tibet in exile, uh, I was at a Buddhist monastery. This was in a beautiful monastery on the top of a mountain in the Himalayas. And I was just sitting outside, you know, looking at the forest, and uh, a Buddhist monk had joined me. And he, I don't know, he could read my mind, but he said, uh, he said, you know, he just knew I, I was kind of pondering life, and he said, you know, life fires the first arrow at us, and we fire the second one back at ourselves through our aversion and resistance and tension with whatever shot that first arrow, you know, whatever kind of difficulty in life came our way. And he said the secret is to turn that second arrow into an acupuncture needle of healing. And that's just something, you know, I'll never forget because The way we view the world is through our conceptions of the world. We don't view the world, we, we conceive the world. And the question is just how do you look at difficulties? Do you welcome challenges and opportunities to grow? Or do you fear them and do you resist them? They will come. The question is, how do you view it? How do you deal with it? And, you know, when you have this viewpoint, which I've really adopted ever since, is that there is nothing bad that can happen in life. Everything is neither really good nor bad. It's just, okay, this happened, I'll deal with that. Now this happened, I'll deal with that. And as long as you can have this view, then everything is just peaceful. Nothing can disturb it. It doesn't matter if you win the lottery or lose everything. There is just, this is where I am, this is what I have to do, and, and do it.